one of the most awesome features about using Google domains for your domain names was the fact that they had the catch-all email forwarding, which unfortunately, since they were bought out by Squarespace domains, eventually you're going to have to move all of your domains over to Squarespace, and that is no longer an option, at least at the time being. So I know I've seen some other people asking questions about um, whether or not this can be done with Squarespace, and as far as I can tell, it cannot. Now, I have found kind of a workaround a little bit, but it depends on who you're using. A, it depends on who you're using for your web hosting, and B, it depends on whether or not you have your website hosted with somebody else. So if you are using Squarespace for both your domain hosting and for your web hosting, then this is not going to work for you. But if you are only using Squarespace for your domain names, kind of like I was with just using Google, so I used uh, Google domains for my domain names and then hosted my websites in other places. Um, if you're doing something similar, like I am now, I'm currently, or I'm now now using SiteGround or have been using SiteGround, this should work for you. I believe it will work for GoDaddy as well. I believe it also works for HostGator and Bluehost, um, but it's been a while since I've used either of those, so don't quote me on that. But if you're using SiteGround, essentially all we have to do now is set SiteGround or whoever your web host is to be the, the controlling body for your MX records and then use their built-in email system. So how I'm doing that is uh, obviously because we can no longer register domains with Google, I move some of my domains over to Squarespace to test this out. And so I'm gonna show you how I set this up so that using uh, SiteGround, I can now still have a catch-all email address. And so I am putting this on the forum, so depending on if you're watching this video on YouTube, there is also a link below to the, the forum instructions uh, and vice versa. I'm also going to post a link to this video in the forum. So that's, and basically this is the post I'm getting ready to post in the forum and the instructions you're watching in this video is basically just what I have in here. So one important thing to note, this method involves changing your domain's name servers. So like I said, if you're hosting your website with Squarespace, then this is not gonna work for you. But if you are only hosting your domain name with Squarespace, but then your web server files or your web hosting is someone else, like SiteGround, for example, who I'm using, then this is how you're gonna set it up. Now, before you begin, you are going to need to get your name servers from your web host. So I am using SiteGround. Uh, in order to do that, if you haven't set up your domain name or your website with your hosting yet, you just come into wherever your hosting is. Uh, so I just click new website, um, select your hosting plan if you need to, um, existing domain, because I already own the domain, and then I would put my domain here, so I'll just provide apothecary.com, and I'd click continue. I already, I'm not gonna click continue here because I already have done this, but that is what you would do. You just add it there so that now your website shows up here. So now that my website shows up here, it has a space uh, on my hosting. I'm just gonna go to my site tools, and if you were in GoDaddy, you'd go to like your cPanel, um, and this would be in your cPanel. And then uh, over on the right-hand side, I believe, on GoDaddy, you'll also see your name servers over here. That's what I'm looking at right here is my name servers. So I just want to copy both of those. Now, once I have those, we're going to go back to Squarespace, and we're going to go into our domain name. And on the bottom right, we're going to click Manage Domain Settings. And then over here on the right-hand side, under Advanced Settings, we're going to click Name Server Settings, click Edit. Now by default, it would be set to use Squarespace name servers, but we're actually going to switch it to use custom name, or name servers. And the name servers that we pulled from your web hosting is what you're gonna put in here. Now, if you're not using SiteGround, if you're using somebody else, you can just go to Google and type in like how to find name servers on GoDaddy or how to find name servers on Bluehost, etc. And it should give you pretty simple instructions on how to get your name servers, but you're gonna put those in here. Now, once you've added those in there, you're gonna click save. And that is all we need to do from a Squarespace perspective. Now, what we've told the internet essentially is that anytime somebody needs information regarding your domain name, it's no longer looking at the information on Squarespace, it's now looking at the information on your web host. So by changing your name servers, you're changing the location that your information for your website, for your domain name is being viewed. So now that we've done that, we need to change the or verify that the MX records for your domain name are actually being um, pointed to your hosting. So again, using SiteGround, I'm just gonna come over to Domain and go to DNS Zone Editor. If you're in GoDaddy or if you're using um, on any other hosting that uses like a cPanel, I believe if you scroll down in your cPanel, you should see a section that says um, like emails or servers and DNS. You should find something that says DNS. Again, uh, if you need help finding it, just go to Google. With SiteGround, I now just come up here to MX 
and it gives me some default options. So I could switch to the Google index records, which is what I used to use when I was using Google domains, um, or switch to default system index records. So this is actually what I have selected here. Um, now, if you don't have an option like this where you can just like toggle them, you might have to add your own. Or if you're, um, if you haven't changed these ever in the past, then it probably already has the default one set up. So um, I did switch to system default, which gives me these three MX records right here, which we can see are all down here. So we got this MX10, MX20, MX30. And so now that these are in here, Basically, this is telling the internet when somebody sends an email to your domain name, it's looking at these MX records to find out what uh, what server needs to be, what the email needs to be sent to, or what server is running the rules for it to pass along that email. So now we're telling it to use the MX records for the local host, which in my case is SiteGround. So GoDaddy's going to be different, Google's going to be different, HostGator's going to be different. Once you've set that up, again, just coming over here on the left, I have this email tab right here. I'll click that. If you're using, again, cPanel or GoDaddy, then your uh, it would be like under email if you scroll down on your cPanel forwarders here. And by default, so SiteGround by default already has a catch-all email address, but it is automatically set to discard. So all I did was change it to forward. So now any emails that come to this domain name will be forwarded to the email that I have it set to. And then I have some other custom ones in here as well, which go to different email addresses. So by default, it will run any of these ones first. And if it doesn't meet any of those, it then will default to the catch all. So this is essentially the same thing that was happening if you were using the catch all for Google. Um, the only difference is now, instead of setting this all up in Google domains like we used to, um, it now has to be done on the web host server side instead of the domain name side. So that is how I was able to get this set up. It is a little bit uh, on the technical side, which is a little bit more of a pain. Hopefully, eventually, uh, Squarespace will add that feature in. But until they do, this, as far as I can tell, is the next best thing. So hopefully you found that helpful. If you did, let me know, or if you are confused about anything or need help with anything, let me know down below. I will try to help as much as I can. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next one.